This is the Man Museum. Ooh, wildlife and learning place. <laughs> Woo, nice and cool. Okay, okay guys, so this is the Man Museum and we're going to see what's in here. Well, um, we can get some when we come out. Uh, Guys, can you please something, please? Cute, cute. How are you today? Great. Okay. So this is the man museum. I'm not quite sure if this camera is supposed to be held sideways or straight up and down anyway this is the man museum and there's a moose and there's an elk and i just went by quickly and there is a caribou so this is how it looks wow alabama conservation pioneers part in our progress as um, we update Oh, wow, look at this. Boat launch, 50 cents. Ooh, careers in conservation. Okay, so I'm wondering if I can sit down and see something here. I bet you I can. So let me go and ask someone. But look. Outdoor Alabama, let me see. Wow, look at you, were right. These are taxidermy. Oh, yes. Um, it is powered down. Wow, where is he? I'd say Alaska. No, the Kodiak Island. Deer live on deer. A black-tailed deer lives on Kodiak Island. And this is the smallest member of the six North American deer family. Wow, look at that. Okay. Whoa, whoa, look at this. Is that not gorgeous? I'm loving this. Facing off, oh no. Oh no, 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 we getting ready to fight? Where's Sadie Mae? Cause I know she's got to be in here somewhere. They are fighting over Sadie. Okay. Oh, somebody got hurt. That's the white-tailed deer skull. Maybe he lost. I don't know. Um, ooh, who is in danger here with those big horns? Me, me. But he's gorgeous. Maybe I could give him something to eat. The mule deer is native to the southwestern states and is the fourth largest member of the American deer family. This deer gets his name from its mule-like ears. Like other deer, the mule deer also sheds its antlers. Notice that this buck has tilted his ears toward the deadly sculptured scorpions, or perhaps he hears the rattlesnake behind him. Whatever, uh, who's in danger? Not me, I think he is. Okay, ooh, the most important animal of North America. Now, who is that? Uh, the caribou is considered the most important meat source. Wow, wow. Uh, from the North, from the earliest recorded history, man has been using the caribou for skin, for clothing. It's its meat for food and its bones for tools and its antlers for tools and artwork. Ooh, we owe you a great debt, sir. We need to be paying you and your ancestors, but you're cute. Okay, the white deer, ooh, ooh, wow, he's so big. And, and I'm standing, I would probably be to his chest. This is the white deer. The Native Americans named this elk Wapiti, in the Indian language that means white deer because they appear white when seen from a distance. The elk 
is the second largest member of the deer family and is found over a large area of Northwestern America. Wow! And these must be, um, let's see, I don't know. Okay, the skull. That's a female skull. Of course she had to go first. Oh gosh, no. That is a big, big dude. Wow. My goodness, is this not the foothills of Alaska? Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch that from the TV screen because these babies are way too big to play with, way too big. I could not even let Avery ride these when he was little, although he probably would have tried. And this is the world's biggest deer. Oh, goodness gracious. Homeboy is huge. And these are his antlers, North American bear family. Bear, we're going into the bear section here. Oh goodness, homie is um, formidable here. Oh gosh, hello. Hey, Sadie Mae too. She's adorable, but I wouldn't want to see her close up, would you? Hey girl, hey, hey. And this sign says, I see my girlfriend. This large, mature, boar, male black bear is standard in looking at a young sow, female black bear during the breeding season. This is the only time of year that a large male will be seen with a smaller bear of either sex uh, or any other time of year. A large bear might eat a smaller bear. Ooh, bear cubs babies are always at risk and are fearlessly defended by their mother. Where's the father? Bears are meat eaters, however. The biggest portion of their diet is vegetables. Oh, goodness. Dude. Oh, dude, somebody needs to remind you oh, how, how you need vegetables and not meat. And this is the mural of, I guess, Alaska, upstream. Mm. Okay. Oh, seems like we're about to fight over somebody, something. What are we doing, guys? Hey, hey, let's get back. Play nice, play nice. Teeth are out. Not nice. Claws, claws are out. Uh, but you do look like you could quite defend yourselves. So I will step back and let you have at it. And this, this is my, this is my fishing hole, big boy. Two extremely large black bears are confronting each other over fishing rights. See, you should have signed the paperwork and gone down to your Alaskan County office to get that strained out. Okay, at least these fish are pretty big because um, they go, they're going to need to be pretty big to fight each other, to defend their families, and also to supply lots of meat for bears and humans alike, and other fish probably, poor thing. Alaska salmon re resource, Alaska salmon resource. Okay, that must be the life cycle importance to the ecosystem. Let's pull this back and let you look at that. I see you down here, homeboy. I see you about to protect your turf. Okay, uh, look at this. Once again, Here's a black bear, and there's one hopping along. Okay, and that's a grizzly bear. Grizzlies are said to be ferocious. You're gonna have to slow this video down so you can read it. That's a honey, a brown bear. I was about to say a honey bear. Claudia, a honey bear? And that is, of course, the infamous polar bear. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. What are you guys doing? We're not going to fight. I mean, because, well, somebody else already got rid of this fella. And we're just not going to fight today. Love you, love you. Um, what's this? 
the brown bears hold um den claudia hold come on now let's come on now that's the brown bears den and these two fellas right here i would suggest you let that bird alone and the food chain of north america everything in nature has a certain order to its existence this is also true of who gets to eat first when food is available like you little one you're going to have to power down control yourself put your teeth back in don't roll out your lips and let this guy eat first and hopefully he won't eat everything which is that poor cat down on the snow and then start with you so i suggest you start backing up now this little fella is smart he's going to stay back and watch you guys kill each other and there we go with the birds in the sky hi guys all right what's going on over here water file water fowl may need a fowl but water fowl of kodiak island in alaska oh that is so nice and this tells us who they are wow and Aren't you cute? Hello. Oh, aren't you impressive? Yeah. Am I bluffing? You did? Oh my gosh. Hi, big guy. Yes, I am. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay, this is an Arctic mother with her little ones on her back. She better hurry up and get across the snow. Oh, this is a man in uh, the prey. Man, the prey. Okay, dude, you got on a skin, an animal skin, it's your cute self, and you're a prey. Yeah, I guess you could be prey. And all of this is snow. Ooh. Whoa! Is that little stick supposed to pick his teeth? Because he is impressive. Oh, goodness. He's tall. Oh, yes, he is. Yes. Whoa, ooh, buffalo, yes. Hi. Yeah, I would say it's harsh. Look at all the goodies you can make from their skins. Ah, oh, so not nice. Nice. Oh, look how cute the little ones over here are. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. Probably steal everything. Oh, Lord have mercy. What are you doing over here, Sadie Mae? Cute. Cute. Lunchtime in the Arctic. Not lunchtime. Hi. How you doing? What restaurant are you going to eat in? I hope it's not uh, Claudia's. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Lovely. Lovely. Uh oh, smart as a fox. Uh oh, uh oh. This is magnificent. Oh goodness. Who are you over here, cutie? Hey, you look like a lynx. And you are. Hey, 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 leave him alone. Leave him alone now. You, I know you already ate. Poor little hair. You better get popping. Hi. Uh, time to shed the velvet. Impressive.
So if you find yourself not judging and saying the zoo in Atlanta is so much better than the zoo here and all of that, you can have a great time without the judgment. So look, my niece got a little ice cream and so we were so hot and they kept going, auntie, auntie, <laughs> we need some. I, oh, that little ham was in the spoon. I'm sorry. Let me get this one. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You're okay, you're okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She said, I'm sorry, I, actually, I'm sorry, because uh, she put her little hand in my spoon cup. But anyway, those little hands have been everywhere. So I was like, oh, no, no, no. But anyway, time, because this little ice cream is gonna be so good out here. Uh, I hope it doesn't rain, well, because we'll have to run into one of these places. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and be happy. Hold on. Okay, I can't have the music. Candy. Who's got music? Okay, guys, so this is the end of our vlog, and you got everybody in. Can you see Kennedy? It rained. Uh, it, what? It rained. It wasn't just rain or was it torrential? Torrential. It was torrential. And we got caught at the zoo in the rain. So we're soaking wet. <laughs> she looks like she's been in the swimming pool. I look, look guys. Oh, no. Look. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> look, look, look how wet she is. Oh, look at the ones in the back. I ain't got no like swimming materials, so now I'm like, this is a shirt and it's wet. Yeah, look at them. Oh well, my gosh. I'm getting my hair washed today. So Me too. Oh Lord. My so hair they're, just got ruined. So they're getting their hair washed and it's okay. Your hair is not ruined. It looks very nice. Mm -hmm. So guys, have you ever been caught in a rainstorm? If you have, you know how it feels to be soaking wet outside. And that can be a fun feeling if you're having fun or it can be a feeling that's not so fun. But we made it In fun. This case, so our sneakers are soaking wet. Well, I, got I, got crocs. I got our flip flops. So Hers are sloshing. Oh my God! Her, look at her. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And then these. She has on Crocs. Good day. She has on flip flops, and my my sneakers may Auntie, as well look. be soaked. Oh my God! Hers her sneakers are dripping wet, guys. I mean. We got so, on my side. so mine, I know mine look like that too, but that's okay because I got mine on and I'm not going to take them off because okay. I'm going to wait until we get back to the house and then we're going to get showers. I can't take a shower first. Boom. We're going to let the youngest go first. Yes. yes. That was something else. Oh, uh, she got in the shower yesterday. Yeah, cause what? She, she got in the shower first yesterday. Yeah. Sure did. But she did. Yeah, she so did. I'm going first today. No, okay, so we're doing it the opposite. The oldest going to go first? Yeah. Oh, oh then I'm the oldest. I go first. Ah!
cook. <laughs> oh my God. And then we say, oh, I think your head is dry because she has on a wig. Exactly. <laughs> She did? I twice yesterday. We I mean, twice yesterday. I, yesterday. Yeah, I took a shower twice yesterday. I sure did. And I, and I, and we did my picture shoot, and she did, and she said she would go for it. And then, and then <laughs> somehow she lost, and I went, and she didn't. Oh! And then now, now we did her. And then she went twice yesterday. Twice? Yeah, first when we first came. This is before I got out in the rain. This <laughs> is after. <laughs> So in other words, she was saying she was dry. She said she was pretty and dry, and now she's pretty and wet. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to say bye right now. We're going to end the vlog right here because we are wet, and we need to get this car popping and moving towards the house. So bye, guys. Bye, guys. It was great hanging out with you. Say bye. Bye. See you in the next vlog. And... Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. Right, guys? Yeah. And share. So we've been away from the vlog channel for a long time, but we're back.